Hello, uh, welcome to Trains in Viatic. Uh, we're back up in Viatic and I brought you up here to show you the method I'm going through to pack everything away. As uh, if you saw my last video, you will see my last running session and everything's getting packed away and I want to share the method I'm using. So let's have a title and then we can chat after that. So I'm packing everything away and for most of the stock I'm using this of the Batman version, the original packaging as this have t brought it from China to the UK so there's a very good chance that it will take me from my home to wherever I end up so this is the first line of defence then behind me I have a large really useful box I'll take you around and make you feel a bit seasick with this. So you can see this is stuck to the top, but this will keep everything in place once the lid is on. So let me get you back into a good position. So the idea is to keep the box as solid as I can. What I'm doing is I have a spreadsheet on my tablet whereabout I keep several bits of information. I start off with a part number as everything will have a part number. Then I have a short description so that's a wagon. I put a bit more detail on that. Then I have a manufacturer. Then I have a condition, uh, some bits I got a bit of damage to, so I want to know if I need to do any repairs or anything like that. Then I have three lines of jobs, so that I can go, okay, so I need to do this, I need to do that, then I need to do that. Then I have a DCC address, de decoder type, and then I have a box as each of a really useful box is having a number written on it so that um, if anything happens and when I do move if I lose a box I can then go to the insurers and say okay I had this, this, this and this in it and they'll be able to say yep that's fine so this has also given me a chance to actually record everything I've got I'm already up to 25 locos and that's just one box. So this is taking a little bit longer than I thought but everything's being put away properly. I have all the information so that when I go on to the next um, phase I know what I'm doing. Um, I did think of cleaning for wheels but the train will get full clean when they get taken out and I'm just making sure to have um, a full archive of what I've got so what I do is I'll put you over there and you can see me putting a train away so the first thing is to get the books this one I got from the Batman return table and then uh, this leaf I'll put to one side take out the plastic sleeve and then this is ready to put the train in one thing I've already done is worked out which side is front and which side is the back as that can be quite complicated with some locos and if you look at how I'm holding it at the moment this is upside down so hold it this way up on the Batman plastic wrapping 
your plastic clip is on the top. Now that's ready to be uh, packed away. So next thing I'll do is I'll grab the loco. So I'll go and do that and bring you back in a sec. This is the loco. So what I'm doing is I'm just having a quick look to make sure there isn't any obvious problems. One thing to keep an eye on is the gear there. And I got a dead inset in there. So that will be removed in a moment. And then I'll put this away. I've now cleared underneath and I have had a quick look at the wheels and they're all clean. So next job is to put it away. So we get the packaging. One of the problems you can have is a tender. So you can see that the tender's too close. So I'll just pop the tender off and then we can put it away. So the tender and the loco are now separate. You'll find from that everything will just fit naturally. If you're struggling to put it in, it means that you're doing something wrong. So I stick that on there. Stick that on there like so. Make sure that we have a surface street sheet. Put the loco in there. Put the loco in its pack. And then I'll record for information. So I've got a model number on the end there. And then that going for bots. So it's quite an easy job, but it takes a few minutes per loco. So this will be loco number 26 put away. So let's finish off the video. As you can see, maintaining your loco is very important and also keeping the packaging. I know it takes up space, but if you get something like a really useful box, you can put all your packaging away and then just slide it underneath your layout. Uh, I've got three really useful boxes for all the locos. And the other job I've been doing as I've been going along is condensed down boxes. As I had several boxes with projects in, which are now all together and keeping a record of everything you got is also really really important so that you know what you got and if you're moving if you lose something you then have a record it's also worth taking a photo of the bots as well so that you know what's in there but hopefully this has been a short and sweet video i should have a video on monday which will be how to lift points and uh, so we get to there slowly. As long as the weather doesn't get too hot, I'm expecting another week and a half this railway will be gone. Uh, so once I got the locos away, it's then lifting for track, lifting for points, 
trying to save as much of the wire that I can. If I have short little bits like what I have just here, there's no point in saving it. But if I have a long run, longer than that length, it's worth saving for wire as uh, one of these is about 15 quid. So any I can save is a saving to the next layout. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. And don't worry, I still got videos coming out uh, till I'm back to uni. So thank you very much. See you all later. Thank you, Richard.